my name is Cleo and this is my first YouTube video. Um, I felt it was uh, proper for me to give you an introduction before I could share with you things that you would expect in my channel. So before we get into that, I wanted to tell you at least five things about me. For the first one, I am 24 years old. My birthday is on April 5th. And for the second one, my hobbies include reading, writing, cooking, and listening to music. And the first three that I mentioned will, will be included in the, the type of content that you would expect in my channel. So I will explain that later. Third one, oh, I uh, were if yes. I live in the beautiful islands of the Northern Marianas. Um, I am greatly aware that not many people know about that this place so I'm gonna go ahead and elaborate that more later in the video so because I will show you some clips of our region. The fourth one, uh, maybe something a little bit more deeply about myself, uh, I love desserts. I mean I love food in general but I am a major sweet tooth. I can never say no to desserts especially if it's good. My most favorite to dessert is tiramisu. For the last one, the fifth one, um, maybe I'll just give you my favorite colors. <laughs> so my favorite colors are lavender and white. Uh, just recently, I sorry to I started to like lavender. I think it's a really pretty color, quite neutral. So yeah. Uh, for my channel, uh, the things that you could expect in terms of my video style or any concepts would, wouldn't be too out of the ordinary. It would definitely be a common formula that you would see with any lifestyle vlog. Just casual snippets of my daily life, but of course it's shared in my own creative ways. So nothing I wouldn't say I, I would be quite um, unique. I'm not really a videographer. I'm not I'm not a professional one. So I I just want to share you some simple glimpse of my daily life, and that's practically it. Uh, as of right now, I don't really have much to share with you. I don't have any special events or any errands going on right now so it's more of a stay at home kind of thing so yeah uh, I, but I do want to share with you some some simple stuff that I do on my spare time at home so let's start on that <laughs> oh gosh
Hello. So today we're going to be cooking dinner tonight and the menu is pork sinigang. There are many variations to it. It's just that I chose pork because it's my favorite. So yeah, let's get, let's get started. <laughs> You know, for some reason, I always have this bad habit of cooking when I'm hungry. And then while I'm cooking, my stomach grumbles because it wants to eat. I never learned my lesson, really. I don't, I never learned at all. Like, I just keep doing this to myself. I don't know why.
today and today we are gonna go outside I don't really like going outside <laughs> I'm not really an athletic person but for the sake of showing you my beautiful island I will do it yes I will just for a little bit of a background um, my region the Northern Marianas Islands is an archipelago of 14 islands and in which four at least four islands consist of human civilization or habituated with signs of human population among the four among the 14 islands uh, the capital is Saipan which is where I'm currently living right now and uh, that's what I'll be showing to you today, at least a glimpse of um, what it looks like. In terms of culture and uh, demographics, I believe, uh, residents or natives here are considered as Chamorros. But we also have um, a small percentage or population of various uh, minorities, and that includes Filipinos, um, Koreans, Japanese, which are basic, who are basically considered residents here. So we're quite um, diverse when it comes to different cultures. It's not just uh, the Pacific Islanders, but even other cultures are are quite diverse here. So yeah. Oh yes, and uh, the Northern Marianas is considered a U.S. territory. So uh, residents are like even including most like most importantly Chamorros are considered US citizens but people who are born here I will provide a link in the description below uh, for like other references or other resources that can help you get at least some general information about our island I am aware that not a lot of people are quite knowledgeable of this region it's like this a mutual experience that we Pacific Islanders will always get when we would go overseas and people would ask us where do you live and we're like yeah the Northern Marianas and they're like where is that and, um, and we would say like oh it's like it's next to Philippines or it's next to Guam and they're like oh yeah where is that <laughs> I'm like okay you know what uh, here, just Google it. <laughs> I provided at least two links in the description below to kind of give you at least some information about the Northern Marianas and our culture and traditions and anything that you might need to know. But I'm also thinking of uh, providing a separate video in the future to kind of like show you how it is here in, here in Northern Marianas. But I feel like the perfect time to give you those um, those clips is around like festival seasons but for today we are just gonna walk around the place um, in Saipan and uh, the place that we are going to uh, where I'm going to tour you around is in Beach Road and that's kind of like the hot spot for many people who are just who just want to take a walk who want to exercise are, who simply just wants to chill. So yeah, let's get ready. Let's go.
such a it's such a good time to talk right now. What's there to talk you? about? <laughs> Pretty good. Oh, look, a plane! Another oh, there. Oh, I'm saying there, but I can't see it. <laughs> yeah. I'm sweating. I'm tired. I'm sweating. Can we go back now? What happens if this, the world stops rotating though? We die. We die? That's it? The sun is just gonna be like pointing out one direction. Yeah. And then the other side is just gonna be like freezing. And... Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of sad though. But I'm sad. <laughs> that's unrelated though. No. Okay, this one is the prettiest, in my opinion. So nice. What a day. That was basically it for now in terms of um, seeing my island. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I tried to find like the best sunset clip for you guys, but I couldn't choose because it was just the the moments were just perfect. Do stay tuned for more content. I do have a lot to share with you, uh, not just for our island, but also personally in. Um, my life i do would want to use this channel as a way of kind of documenting my journey in all of its aspects i definitely want to use this platform as a way of kind of creatively illustrating my experiences even though it is definitely just a casual lifestyle slice of life vlog i do want to pursue this newfound passion that i have for I wouldn't say that I will want to become a professional someday. No. <laughs> I want to use this method of um, videotaping my experiences kind of in a way that I can look back at it and see how much I've grown. Because there are times when I would um, question myself a lot in terms of how far I am in life and whether or not I'm using it in good use, making good use of my life. Um, another thing is also kind of uh, experimenting different ways and branching out on different uh, methods to channel my passion, which is for reading, writing, and cooking. And um, again, it's not a way to kind of um, enhance some sort of uh, professional advancement I would say um, I just want to use it as a way of being creative and free just being free with with using my creativity that's it lastly on top of that um, with all of those aspirations I just generally I just want to spread out positive vibes through my content that's my main goal just in a way that through my videos my end showing my experiences you can have at least something to smile about i hope that i will be consistent in that path that i my content will consistently give you that positive um energy oh, okay i'm very tired so i'm gonna go rest now if you want to see more videos of me go ahead and um, click the bell button to be notified for more videos in the future like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you.